I ran that 13 mile half marathon last summer, I could have actually doubled my performance capacity all with the help of this funny looking glove. I recently visited Stanford where researchers are developing tech that can make exercise way more efficient, no steroids necessary. We have freshman women doing over 900 push-ups in 45 minutes. What we've shown is we can get equivalent increases in training response, in performance responses, without using steroids. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the nice thing about it is it leaves no residue. Or extra nipples or whatever else happened. It works by letting cooled water flow into a vacuum around the palm of your hand. Then it helps draw that cooled blood back into the rest of your body. The result, a faster recovery and better performance. Okay, so what I'm feeling is almost like a blood pressure cuff, like yeah. a little bit of constriction. Right, so you pull your hand out, you can see your hand is still warm. Right, it's so fascinating how this part is warm and this part is cool. Yep. Warm, cool, warm, cool. What we found is that the buildup of heat is a major contributor to fatigue onset. Yeah. And so if we can keep the temperature from rising so fast, people can exercise for longer. Wait, what in God's name? So of course, in the name of science, I had to put this cooling glove to the test. This is, I, I didn't even know it was gonna start off completely horrific. What do I have to do so We're just going to stick this thermocouple probe two feet up your nose. This is the, the most terrified I've ever been. And then I lean my head back a little. Lean your head back. Oh, dear God. You find a little hole, it goes down. Yeah. There you go. Now it's going in your mouth. Mm hmm And swallow. Just keep swallowing. You like the taste of it, huh? Yeah, wonderful. This is the best thing I've ever done. Wow. <laughs> well, that was awful. Okay. It's all uphill uh, from here, right? You did better than just about anybody I've ever seen do this. Really? You did it on your first pass just right through. Okay, well, thank you. That's good <laughs> to know. It's super attractive, too, I bet. <laughs> then it was time to get me into the ultra hot exercise chamber. So I have a temperature probe way deep down in my nose and esophagus. I'm in a room that's about 101 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna walk up a 10% slope for 20 or 30 minutes and just get all heated up and sweaty and snotty. There you go. Okay. You've come up about almost a degree now, so your temperature's climbing pretty quick now. All right, I feel it. What we'll do is take your core temperature up to about 38 and then put the cooling device on one hand and see if we can't change the trajectory of the core temperature rise. Okay, it's time to cool you down now, so let's see what happens here. So you feeling anything? My hand feels cooler. After about 10 more minutes, I was spent. Have a seat. All right. I can't believe how hard that was. Like I ran 13 miles two months ago and I thought that might kill me. <laughs> so what we're doing is just watching your temperature drop here. And the glove seemed to have worked. My core temperature went down, and more importantly, my good mood came back. The glove has proven so effective that Stanford is even using it to train their own athletes, and sometimes on the field too. What we'll do is when we're training, especially in the summer and the heat, we'll have it readily available. And if somebody is struggling, they need a little bit of recovery, somebody might be cramping, a hydration issues, anything, we'll put them on the unit. Is it kind of in the meantime until it goes mainstream? Is yeah. it kind of a little unfair advantage that you uh, guys have? <laughs> it's it sort of like our little secret. We've presented to the Pac-12, and there's a lot of interest within other teams, but again, they're still skeptical about it. So we like to keep it our little secret, I guess, until it really goes mainstream. I can't believe how faint I feel, actually. I'm not ready for the football team, but my results were impressive. And then at this point, 
we put on the cooling device and you can see we have changed the trajectory of your core temperature rise. Right. Without the glove, I would have run out of steam at 15 minutes. With the glove, I would have conked out at more like 30 minutes, a doubling of my performance. And is that pretty consistent across everybody who tries it? I mean, do you find that? Yeah, we always see an improvement in performance. A lot of it has to do with what the fitness level of the individuals are. The Stanford team says their research into temperature control has all kinds of medical potential, from helping patients with multiple sclerosis be more active to getting obese people off the couch for longer periods. Individuals with multiple sclerosis, you can actually give them a degree of freedom to be able to go out and walk twice as far as they'd normally be able to. That to mm. me is very dramatic. Yeah. You know, if you're talking about exercise performance, having guys doing 600 pull-ups and 1,000 push-ups is right. pretty dramatic too. So. For my part, I'm probably not going to get to 600 pull-ups, but I am ready to give this glove thing a try in the real world, as long as I never have to do that nose tube thing again. Watch someone walk and sweat.